today we are going to meet a social entrepreneur and educationist who is very well known for a unique initiative a one of its kind university KISS Kalinga Institute of Social Sciences which is the first one and probably the only residential university for indigenous people and he did not stop there he went on to create many more wonderful institutions to make the lives of students better so let's meet professor achit samanta welcome sir thank you for spending thank you time very much. so sir the first thing that comes to my mind while talking to you is you set a goal for yourself and that goal was quite different from others others usually when they you know progress their career path they talk about they think about uh, making a career in some kind of a industry and reaching some heights or you know they target a kind of uh, amount of money which they want to make you know these are the kind of targets people keep for themselves but the target that you gave yourself was upliftment of poor so what is behind this and what is behind this thought and what propelled you towards this direction and thank you very much you have asked the very heart touching question to me you see whenever anybody does anything definitely he or she has that much of background or brought up so when dr samad is doing for the poor so he was not only born poor he was brought up in poor so this is the passion i had from my childhood because of my own experience towards the poor as i was born poor i was brought up poor i know how the humiliation one poor person or child has to face before the entire world so that's why as you have asked everybody has its goals and everything that's why my goal is to serve the poor and to see the smiling face with the poor children <coughs> not only in odisha but also in different parts of the country and i have been doing it for the last 33 years since 92 till date and i have been very successful for eradication of poverty hunger illiteracy malnutrition superstition everything in my own way with a permanent solutions like education because education is the permanent solution i i am not doing just in a half way someone is not getting food just to throw some food someone is not getting education just to give them education up to fifth standard no the institute you have watered kalinga social science is the one of its kinds in the entire world no other such type of institutes one will find so i have been doing it in my own way in my own goal as you have told and because of my own experience from my childhood so sir what was the thought process what did you think how do i want to tackle this uh, say thought, poverty thought, or thought process is very simple as i had having the same types of experience how i was born very poor i lost my father when i was only 4 years old how we seven brothers and sisters and widow mothers were not getting even one square meal in two days so that type of things we had experienced side by side we had got the education so similarly <coughs> it's my passion to see that no poor child should be deprived of quality educations or the decent life that is the thought process and you went uh, door to door to convince people convince tribal community that was initially for first 10 years it was very difficult because you know i started 92 to 93 when nobody has thought of bringing tribals or the marginalized children to the mainstream through quality education nobody thought of in those days you know the old, in name of odisha also was not <coughs> known so popularly outside odisha etc and tribals were most affected and they are staying in the dense forest and there are many bad things with the tribals so that's why because of superstition initially they were thinking that my child will be sold eye job my child will be sold or kidney of my child will be sold so they are all in their own mind they should be because at that time there was no uh, organizations like this bringing from the dense forest and putting them in a host- boarding schools and giving them quality education a decent life it was a dead dream for everybody that's why initially for first 10 years it was very difficult to convince the parents of the tribal children but as we had a strong passion that's why we could succeed it now it is the most successful model in the entire world 
Right. So uh, this is actually a, yeah, as you said, very unique model. So when you thought about this, so were you convinced that it is going to work practical level at the you know ground level? How did you convince yourself that this is going to work? Because nobody has ever tried that before. Whatever I have done till date, it is the God's blessings, God's creation. I am just instrument to implement the things. But from the beginning, I had con confidence on myself, on my work, that definitely I will be successful. That's why I started when I was only 25 years old. I started this venture. And now the things were materialized because of the um, God's blessings and also good wishes from many people associated with my work. You had a very humble beginning with, I think, 5,000 rupees in two-room uh, university kind of a setup. From there, you've grown to this level. So what was the journey like? How did you manage to, you know, take that small step to a larger grind, giant leap? You have told the right things. It was quite a horrible journey, but it was possible again with the God's grace. I'll be happy if you can show the some parts of our campus. We have created 30 campus spreading over 36 square kilometer area. And the most beautiful campus full of greenery, ambience, everything so beautiful. It is just like one will feel here, see in Europe, America. So that type of campus has been constructed from the 5,000 rupees we have started in two rented houses both kit and keys. So we have given our entire life for this cause. And slowly, slowly it has come up. Now it is appreciated by one and all in the entire globe, by all policy makers. Everybody appreciates this magnitude of this university and also the quality of this university. It is not only infrastructure, all qualities, all qualities. So was there any kind of a support available from around the system around you? Or you were a lone warrior? How did this happen? I am lone over here, no doubt, but they, 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 naturally everybody extend his supporting hand whenever I need it. But there is no financial support from anybody else. We have tried our label based for finance to take bank loans and other things, but um, people have extended their support. Otherwise, how all these things would have been possible? So, tell us some kind of a support system that you had in terms of friends or community. So, how, how this help has uh, reached the KISS? When I have this strong determination to do this, so definitely slowly, slowly, whenever I need any support, anything else, support means, does not mean someone will come voluntarily and will, will help me to execute these things. That is not the support. I thought, I executed, I did it. Whenever the support, like suppose some approval is needed, so definitely, we, sh we should fulfill the norms and we will get the approval. Some financial hands is the banks came forward to give the financial help. Some lands are required. The government and private came forward and got the money and gave the lands. So this is this type of support. Support does not mean so somebody has given any support without any reason or any undue support. That thing has not happened in this case. We have put our heart and soul and we have given our everything for creation of such a beautiful organizations. Uh, the manner in which any education should be imparted, you've been a, an innovator in that sense. So you believe in holistic uh, development of a child, you know, and skill development and, you know, all those areas uh, that one should impart while the education is on. Currently, we've seen NEP 2020. So how do you think that uh, document is like very close to your kind of a thinking also? So how do you take that document as? Is it progressive? Is it going to help us? This National Education Policy 2020 is very nice, very good. Definitely it will be beneficial to the staff, students, institute and of course definitely our country. And we are very much happy. Both KIT and KISS are working much higher than the NEP 2020. We have fulfilled most of the objectives of NEP 2020. And rest of the objectives, whatever is NEP 2020, Definitely, that is very good for the students, be it credit bank, be it any other thing. So many good things are there in NEP 2020. But if you see as per the NEP 2020, KIT is a multifaceted university with 40,000 students from Pan India and from 65 countries. And we have so many faculties and everything. And rest of the things, whatever mentioned in NEP 2020, we have implemented. NEP 2020 generally speaks, one should have the huge universities, cater to the needs of many thousands of students. It should be multifaceted university. So all these things we have already done it. 
then whatever you are told it is the man exclusive or inclusive growth of the entire things like here we have taken care of skill education sports education so many things we are very good here that's why we fulfill the objectives of nep and nep whatever signifies with respect to benefit to the staff students institutes that also we are now now we are implementing as you mentioned sports that takes me to a legendary uh, you can say event that happened which was perpetrated by you you put india on the map of rugby international map of rugby so what has been your kind of association with sports so along with education we have started promoting of sports also and for your kind information we have new institute and new university only 27 years old institute and also 20 years old universities but within this 25 years we have developed the entire thing so nicely and sports we are the i can say we are the best in the country why i am telling best in the country highest amount of international standard sports infrastructure created any one place in the country that is kitten kiss this olympic we have sent our 15 students to the paris olympics till date we have produced 24 students as olympians and many arjun award wagera and kit itself has got all the sports award starting from government of india khel prachana samman and other awards also kit has got so we are taking care of sports very nicely all sports events are used to be held here we hosted khelo india university games we hosted janjati khelo mahotsav all government of india sports event first we hosted here with all facilities and in this way the uh, many students are happy that here all these things are happening for the proper growth of the students if they are not confined within education or the classrooms so uh, whatever is needed in the present age and you can see we are much ahead we can think of we started our sports initiative before 2022 years so what what makes me mention rugby is because that is one sport which nobody hey, plays in india rugby we are very good because from the zero we have made hero rugby rugby has now visible in the country or beyond country the courtsy goes to kiss calling as social science so uh, another thing that we would like to talk to you about is the program of yours art of giving so what is that program and how did uh, you know that come up you see i am a bachelor i lead a very simple life in a rented house very simple life nobody will find anything in my name i am a very good social reformer besides social worker i always think about the good things for the society so once in 2013 i thought of art of giving the concept that is the philosophy of life just to spread the message of peace happiness harmony friendship among the people in the art of giving does not mean just to give some wealth or money to someone it should be in any form in any time suppose i am telling you few sweet words if it's sweet seem or any difficulty is removed that's also is the act of art of giving it is not a question of just to give some money or wealth it is not the question yeah. though art of giving means that but it is a question of just to spread the message of here and it has been celebrating since 2013 every year on 17th may in ins and outs of india and also the 120 countries in the globe by my fan and followers now it has become a good revolution art of giving so it's very nice concept and i used to tell people that in the present age so much misery so much tension so many things and people are not getting any happiness though they are earning huge but they are very big but they are not getting happiness so art of giving just to give them happiness so what kind of impact are you seeing on ground of this program the, the huge impact i have seen in the last 11 years it has created among the people in the country on the people there is a huge impact people have started uh, loving the people because if you love someone you will you will remove many things from your mind suppose i love my mother you love your mother so there should not be any negativity in my mind towards my mother or anything Towards, towards my mother. If someone starts loving others, 
definitely that person will keep himself happy and that person will gives happiness to others so it is a very simple theory but we never practice that's why it has a huge impact on the people in the society amid all these engagements and you know everything that you do each day in and out so do you ever find time for yourself and if yes what do you do then i have not got time for myself still day and i am very happy god has made me bachelor i am alone i lead again i am telling i lead very simple life in a rented house you all will be surprised to know that till date food is not being cooked in my house wherever i am sitting i used to take my food lunch dinner etc so this type of simple life and i have been working 16 to 18 hours per day for the last 33 years without taking a single day break for my leisure or god has not put me on bed suffering from fever or cold even for one day that's why it is not possible to get time for myself but i am very much happy that entire things has come up because of the hard work i have been putting 17 18 hours per day for the last 33 years otherwise it is not a creation of only building it is a creation of one empire for next generation next generation so sir from a scratch you have come a long way so what is the way forward where do you like want to take this further you see i am more socially inclined i am doing very good social work etc not only calling us social science kids home for this thousands and thousands children but also it has branches in many other districts of odisha and definitely i will be more concentrating on my social work and definitely in case of kit we are considering more on quality education internationalization of higher education many many good things we are doing every day if you see the media social media today un status tomorrow unb status sipl status um, guinness world record all these things we have been doing throughout the year that's why we will be adding good things in the coming days also for the country state and also kit and kiss right that's wonderful to hear sir and we wish you all the best you that you much. succeed in all your missions and make us happy and proud both as a country and as you know people so this was professor samanta using the power of education and social entrepreneurship to bring about a positive change we hope that many of us will follow his footsteps and try to do something better something good for the country and make uh, viksit bharat a reality thank you so much thanks for watching